Hallelujah. Christ the Lord is risen. I wish you all, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, our Lord of Resurrection, a very deeply blessed, overflowingly blessed Easter. Uh, this morning's meditation uh, happening uh, on the basis of John, Johan, uh, Joanna and Gospel, Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. The resurrection of Christ Jesus in our Christianity, as you know, is the very story about our God as the creator, the redeemer, and the sustainer. Thus, the biblical uh, message of resurrection is the very holistic faith system on this God, capital G, God's eternal presence in the midst of us as the ground and source of our existence here and now and beyond. As we know, Jesus' name, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. This name, Emmanuel, means the very means the very immortality and imperishability of the nature of our life here and now and beyond, simply because. This capital G God is the creator of our life and all things surrounding us. In this sense, Christ Jesus' resurrection, along with our own in this Christ, don't need to be and should not be such a big fuss or a big deal at all. Namely, the resurrection of Christ to Jesus is not and cannot be such enigmatic, mysterious, or uh, unimaginable event as far as we cling to this ever-present, ever-living, and ever-creating God, capital G God, as the very source and ground of our life and all things in the here and now and beyond. Having said that, since, as we know, since the 17th and 18th century, the so-called age of reason or the age of enlightenment, the so-called enlightened human intellectuals like atheistic scientist, atheistic existentialist, or atheistic evolutionist, etc., etc., have replaced the place of God, the place of capital G, God, the Creator, with that of our human reason and science. Thus, we have likely faced a serious conundrum regarding this issue of Christ Jesus' bodily resurrection. Bodily resurrection. These atheistic scientists, philosophers, and intellectuals have been, have been asserting the origin of our life and universe based on their own, their own hypothesis, hypothesis of by chance or by accident, as they have got rid of this capital G God, the creator of life and universe. As a matter of fact, they have made such a hypothesis that is the very product of their reasoning capability their belief system, their God, in interpreting the origin of our life and meaning. The Big Bang Theory can be one of the examples. This story of Big Bang, this theory of Big Bang has no clear basis of their assertion that the so-called initial and primordial 
element that is a smaller and harder dot, nucleic dot, filled with the state of high density and temperature <clears throat> was existing. And this initial dot, which might be smaller than an atom, on a certain condition, by chance, on a certain condition, and by chance exploded and began to expand and still being expanded to the present shape of the universe. The fundamental decisive problem of this theory, this story is they don't, they can't explain the very origin of this small dot at the very beginning. They don't know where this small dot was originated from. They don't know. The truth is that this story of a Big Bang is just a theory, a story, a product of their very limited human reason and science after all. This theory, this story will and can, can be changed as the time goes by, just as all the past reasonable, reason-centered and scientific theories have been changed by the newly developing theories and stories all the way down to this very day in our human history. You know, uh, you might know this person, Rudolf Bultmann, one of the outstanding 20th century German theologians and professor of New Testament studies at the University of Marburg, tried to demythologize, demythologize all the miraculous and supernatural stories, supernatural miracles that Jesus Christ performed in the gospels, in our gospels, in order to satisfy such a modern human reason-centered and scientific way of thinking and interpreting our life and all things as this. So Dr. Bultmann rejected the event the event of the bodily resurrection of Christ Jesus our Lord reported in our gospels by asserting, let me quote his word, the resurrection itself is not an event of past history. According to him, the real Easter faith is faith in the word of preaching, if, if the event of Easter day is in any sense a historical event additional to the event of the cross, is nothing else than, it is nothing else than the rise of faith in the risen Lord since, since it was this faith which led to the apostolic preaching. Unquote. Here, I believe that Dr. Bultmann is actually rejecting God's creative power and God's presence in the midst of us, all the lost humanity, by confining and imprisoning our capital G God within such a boundary, such a boundary of a limited and narrow scope of human reasoning capability and science alone. <laughs> Here's a story. A Catholic nun shares a, shares a story about a certain family. A few weeks before Easter, there was a horrible accident in her community. While burning some branches in his garden, the father of one of her pupils at her convent 
accidentally set fire to himself. He died. He died as a result of his burns. His family went into deep shock. <laughs> the nun, as well as other members of the community, sought to minister to the family, but they were too hurt, too deeply hurt to respond positively. The fact that the fact that the tragedy happened at home made it even worse. The man's wife was so distraught, so distraught, and she couldn't go out into the garden. She couldn't go out into the garden where the accident had happened. <laughs> Indeed, she found it difficult even to look out of the window that faced onto the garden in case it brought the whole thing back to her. However, However, the days went by and the Easter came around. On Easter Sunday afternoon, the nun visited the family again. She was expecting to find them still grief stricken, but she got a very pleasant surprise. As soon as she stepped into the house, she sensed that the gloom had lifted and she got a feeling of peace and even of joy. Something has happened here, she said to the mother. I can sense, sense that. To which mother replied, this morning my sister and a neighbor came to visit me. They asked me to go out into the garden to get some fresh air. I became almost hysterical at the thought of going into the garden, but convinced that it would help me. They insisted, so eventually I went out with them. Slowly, we walked down to the place where the fire had happened. As we approach the spot where, as we approach the spot, my whole body, my whole body began to shake. But suddenly, but suddenly, I don't know how and from where, the words of the gospel came to me. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here, he's risen. Actually this line from the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, verse five B. At that moment, it was, at that moment, it was as if a heavy load was lifted off my back and I felt a great sense of peace and joy, unquote. <clears throat> My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, our Lord of Resurrection, Mary Magdalene, this morning in our passage, is weeping and looking for the dead Jesus. Jesus, at this very moment, calls her behind her, Mary. <laughs> Mary. She, Mary, turns and says to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, meaning teacher. She just keeps saying, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father. My Father and your Father, to my capital G God, and your capital G God. <laughs> here, my brothers and sisters, here in this post resurrection message of Jesus Christ, our life story, your life story, my life story, and our all whole 
humanity's life stories becomes a never ending story, never ending story in the never failing grace, care, and love of God the Father, the capital G God, who is the very source and ground of our life and meaning eternal and our universe as a whole here and now and beyond. Christ is the reason, hallelujah. People of God all shouted out hallelujah, amen. Amen, happy Easter to you all.